Number 10. Nothing but goggles Police in Australia were forced to call up the search for a swimmer who was attacked by a shark after they found evidence of his very probable demise. The father of two, Paul Milichip, was at the port beach in Perth on a Saturday morning when he went for a swim. His wife waited on the shore while Paul, 57, went to do his thing. According to a pair of boating teenagers who happened to be in the vicinity where Paul was swimming, a shark came out of the blue and ate him. The teenagers did try to help. They took their boat over to where Paul was being attacked by the shark, but he was gone. They then raised their boat all around the beach, screaming at other swimmers to get out of the water. If not for their quick thinking, the shark may have gone on a killing spree and gotten even more people between its jaws. Police don't know exactly what type of shark attacked Paul, though eyewitnesses claimed it was a great white shark at least 15 feet in length. There's no question now that he's dead. After the authorities searched extensively through the area, they found nothing but a pair of goggles that he lost during the vicious attack. Number 9. Girl on Fire A man from Tasmania has been found guilty of trying to kill his girlfriend four years ago. The Supreme Court in Hobart has finally proven beyond any doubt that the 39-year-old man poured gasoline over his girlfriend, who is about 20 years younger than himself, and then used a lighter to set her on fire. The girl was left with burns across 68% of her body. She's going to be disfigured and looking like the Crypt Keeper for the rest of her life. It took the jury less than 8 hours to deliver a verdict, with 10 out of 12 finding him guilty, guilty, guilty. Sadly, we don't actually know either the victim's or the pyromaniac's name because of privacy and legal reasons. But what we do know is that they were arguing in a shed on their property when he became belligerent and violent. He pushed her head against the cupboard, doused her in the flammable liquid, and warned her to start behaving or he would have to do something rash. The issue here is that he had worked himself up into such a frenzy and had already soaked her in gasoline. When she tried to leave and walk out the door, he felt he had no choice but to flick his lighter. She went up in flames and he ran away, got in his car and tried to disappear. It's lucky a neighbor heard the commotion and was able to call an ambulance, otherwise the girl may have been reduced to a pile of ash. Number 8. Attack of the Killer Crocodile a 60-year-old man got into a fight with a giant saltwater crocodile while he was fishing on a remote riverbank in Australia's Cape York Peninsula. He was minding his own business with his fishing rod when the reptile came out of the water and locked its teeth onto his legs. To add insult to injury, the crocodile attacked him on his own property. He saw it in the split second before it lunged, so shocked that he couldn't get away. He grabbed the branch of a mangrove tree as the crocodile tried dragging him into the water. But it didn't do him much good, seeing as the crocodile was infinitely stronger than him. It dragged him into the water and was only seconds away from eating him when the man's instincts took over. He grabbed a pocket knife from his belt, flicked it open, and began to stab the crocodile in its head. As frantically as he possibly could, he stabbed and stabbed and stabbed until the crocodile got sick of it and let him go. He was then able to scramble onto the shore and phone for emergency services. He had to be flown to hospital, where it took about a week for him to recover in stable condition. He's now understandably traumatized by the incident, though this might not be a bad thing. It's probably wise to have a strong fear of crocodiles, especially if you live in rural Australia. Number 7. Australian Killing Birds In Australia, sharks and murderers aren't the only things that kill people. Birds are also terribly dangerous. A local family in Brisbane is now mourning the loss of their five-month-old girl after she perished in a disturbing magpie attack while her mother tried desperately to protect her. The young girl was baby Mia and she was held in her mother's arms when a magpie, the annoying Australian equivalent of a seagull mixed with a crow, swooped at them. They were walking through an ordinary city park in Brisbane when the violent attack took place. You would think that in a place like Australia, such a developed country, there would be safety in the public parks. But no, there are terrorizing birds looking for people to attack. It wasn't actually the bird that killed the child, but its attack which caused the mother to trip and fall. When the mother fell, baby Mia hit her head so hard that she died. According to Tom Holland, a paramedic who arrived at the scene of this terrible tragedy, the bystanders did a great job of trying to help the baby. And this is really the silver lining here. Even if Australia is filled with killer birds that will try to eat your baby in a public park, 
the citizens themselves are pretty good. As for magpies, CNN reported over 1,200 attacks in the state of Queensland in 2020 alone. Most of them aren't fatal, but many do cause minor injuries. Number 6. The Huntsman Spider A woman in Queensland returned home to find the biggest huntsman spider that she had ever seen hanging out on her ceiling. The thing was so big that where it had set itself up in the corner of the room, it took up space on two walls and the ceiling. It was like an eight-legged demon out of a nightmare. The woman, Larie Clark, quickly took a photo of the terrifying monster and posted it on social media, asking people out there in the world what she should do about the horrible arachnid. Larie tried to remove it using a container, but the spider was too big to fit in anything she had in the house. When she checked back online to see what people suggested, most of their suggestions involved burning her house down to the ground and never returning. She definitely couldn't do that, but she was running out of options. Whenever she went near the spider and shone her light on it, it lifted its front legs and showed her its fangs. Eventually, a friend showed up and removed the spider safely. The thing about the huntsman, which people in Australia call the Harry Tarantulas con, is that they aren't actually dangerous. They do have venom, and a bite can hurt, but they can't actually kill. They just so happen to be absolutely enormous and beyond terrifying. What would you do if you came home and found one of these terrifying spiders bigger than your head, just kind of lurking on your ceiling? Let us know your reaction in the comments, and don't forget to hit subscribe before the end of the video. Number 5. Bad Husband Arona Peniamina was convicted of murder in 2016 and ordered to spend the rest of his life locked up. It was one of Australia's most terrifying murders to date. The killer stabbed his wife repeatedly and then crushed her skull with a concrete bollard. A bollard is the round cylinder thing that you see at the edge of sidewalks to keep cars from running over people. He literally used it to break her head, like hitting an egg with a dumbbell. But in a shocking case of the court system gone wrong, the murder conviction was tossed out because of a legal error that the judge made in the trial in 2018. He was given a new trial in which the jury found him guilty of manslaughter instead of murder, slashing a sentence to 16 years instead of life. The argument was that on the night of the killing, Arona found his wife having an affair with another man. He lost control of his emotions, was consumed by indescribable fury and hatred, and he punched her in the face. After the punch, Sandra, his wife, ran into the kitchen and grabbed a knife. He then wrestled the knife from her grasp, cutting herself in the process. He punched her in the face again, now allegedly scared for his own life, and stabbed her with a knife that she had grabbed to defend herself with. He went completely overboard, stabbing her at least 15 times in the head. Amazingly, she still managed to get away after being stabbed so many times. But by now, she was bleeding and in rough shape. When she got to the driveway, Arona kicked her over and then stepped on her. He then picked up the concrete bollard and finished her off. Number 4. The Wrong Fantasy Two men armed with machetes entered the wrong house in Australia, realizing their mistake only when it was too late. According to the report from the BBC, these men were hired by a client to fulfill a bizarre fantasy. The client wanted to be tied up in his underwear by armed men breaking into his house and then caressed with a broom. If that's not weird, I honestly don't know what is. Even the judge admitted that the facts of the case are extremely unusual. To make it even more unusual, the arrangement was made over Facebook, with the client providing the address and paying around $5,000. However, by the time the day of the fantasy came around, the guy had moved and he forgot to update the two men. They entered his old address. When they got to the bedroom, the guy in the bed was not the guy who wanted to be stroked with a broom. It was a completely different person wearing a sleep apnea mask. When he saw the men standing above him with machetes, he freaked right out. The two men realized that they had made a horrible mistake and immediately put the machetes down, trying to de-escalate the situation. They then drove to the proper address of the client, where he made them bacon and eggs. The police tracked the men down to the new address, found the machetes in their car, and arrested them. Number 3. Attack of the Lizards A couple in Australia were injured while they were taking their dog for a walk. The couple happened to be elderly, with the man in his late 70s and the woman in her 60s. The man sustained such heavy injuries that he had to be airlifted to the nearest hospital, while the woman sustained bites to her foot. And sadly, their dog, 
a Jack Russell Cross was also seriously injured. What attacked them, you ask? It was a lizard. A giant Gowana lizard, a creature that can grow to be nearly seven feet in length, came out of the bushes and tried to eat their dog. While trying to defend their canine from the horrible reptile, the elderly couple received scratches and bites. The man suffered very serious lacerations to his forearm, as well as a fracture. He was also bleeding profusely from his leg. The only good news is that the dog narrowly escaped death. It's now traumatized and will be scared of lizards for the rest of its life. And really, who can blame it? Number 2. Gender Reveal Burnouts We've all heard of the bizarre gender reveals going on in this day and age, and how many of them go wrong. In the US, gender reveal parties have resulted in explosions and even forest fires. But in Australia, they've started to do gender reveal burnouts. Australian police are trying to get people to tone it down because the growing trend is getting more and more dangerous. A gender reveal burnout involves hitting the gas and the brake at the same time to make the back tire spin. This generates a massive cloud of smoke because of the friction. And when the car is equipped with special tires to release either blue or pink smoke, you get a dramatic and very smoky gender reveal. But one of these resulted in a car nearly exploding and killing the very people trying to have a celebration. This event was caught on video with a 2017 Holden Senator sedan having its tires completely catch on fire and the whole car going up in flames. It's lucky there were so many onlookers who were able to quickly help the driver and passenger escape as the car burned in a great ball of fire. Nobody was injured, but it was extremely close and their car was totaled. Number 1 Scuba Honeymoon Gabe Watson is the terrible American who let his wife drown while they were scuba diving for their honeymoon in Australia. Gabe actually comes from Alabama, and it's been alleged that he drowned his wife Tina back in 2003 by purposely turning off her air supply. Gabe claims this is false and that her death was a tragic accident caused by panic and fatigue. But to make matters extremely tough for Gabe, especially in the eyes of a jury, when he showed up in court in Birmingham, Alabama, he did so with his new wife. His new wife, Kim Lewis, looks almost identical to the one he allegedly killed. The court proceedings took about three weeks, with Judge Tommy Nail ultimately ruling that there was not enough evidence to convict him of a crime. Gabe was acquitted and allowed to walk free. If it had gone the other way, he would have received life in prison for killing Tina Thomas Watson. The only time he served was the 18 months he spent in Australian prison after pleading guilty to a manslaughter charge. But once he got back to the US, he had to face charges all over again. In America, the judge simply couldn't prove that he had malicious intent. Even though he was technically responsible in Australia, he's perfectly innocent in the USA. What do you feel is the most terrifying part about Australia? Is it the bugs, the snakes, the killers, or the deadly great white sharks? Let us know what you think in the comments and thanks a lot for watching. Be sure to subscribe and watch more awesome videos from the channel. See you next time. Bye.